What's up boys, I want to make this quick little video because I've been seeing some nonsense on my Twitter timeline. Nonsense, you say, on Twitter? Impossible. I know, right? I thought the same thing. But apparently a lot of people out here seem to think that Hi-Fi Rush and Forspoken have the same exact form of like dialogue but people are just shitting on Forspoken because it's a PlayStation game. Essentially, that's what it comes down to, right? Which is complete bullshit. Let's be, com let's be honest, it's, it's not true. People are shitting on Forspoken's dialogue because it sucks. It's cringy and it, I hate that it, it, it makes my ears bleed when I listen to it. And Hi-Fi Rush's dialogue is not like that. So today I just quickly wanted to, you know, put side by side two uh moments in these games it's both the moments where the main character first discovers their new powers and kind of show you how their yeah the dialogue is somewhat similar but it's very very different as well so let me get this straight i'm somewhere that's not what i would call earth i'm seeing freaking dragons and oh yeah i'm talking to a cop Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, kill jacked up beasts, I'll probably fly next. Okay, so that's Forspoken. Keep that in mind, as I'm now gonna show you a similar clip from Hi-Fi Rush. <gasps> if I'm getting this right... First, music player in my chest. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. Second... It's powering up my new robot arm. Third, it's making everything sync up with the beat. And this sounds ridiculous, but when the music kicks in, it feels like, like, like I'm on a stage. Now I can kind of see what people think they're similar, right? Because like they're very jokey. Now the main difference is, Hi-Fi Rush is like this cartoony game with all these goofy characters and all that. And you know, it, this this jokey style fits the aesthetic of the game. It fits the entire like vibe. It, and for Spoken, it's trying to be this very serious like fantasy adventure game. So it, it doesn't fit at all when the character talks like this. Another big difference is just the choice of words. Like, Forspoken be like, I'm seeing freaking dragons and I'm talking to a cuff. See the fact that like this 21 year old criminal, because that's what the main character is, is saying that she's seeing freaking dragons and is fighting jacked up beasts. It's so cringe, okay? And when she does swear, she swears like a 12 year old, like, let's get these fucking birds out of the way. I've heard p some people say like, oh, well, if you were transported to a magical world and saw dragons, you would respond the exact same way. No. Okay, if I was transported to a magical world and I saw dragons and a magical piece of jewelry was giving me powers to fight the dragons, I wouldn't go, oh my god, I'm fighting jacked up freaking dragons. My response would be, uh, what in the actual fuck? So yeah, in short, this shit works for Hi-Fi Rush because it's a cartoony, goofy game. So silly dialogue works. In a serious, fancy game, comedic dialogue can technically work, but especially when the choice of words is so poor and incredibly cringe, like she's literally seeing freaking dragons, you guys. It's, it's just awful. It sucks. I hate it. It doesn't work. I've seen people say that it's similar to Marvel dialogue. Yeah, that's also cringe. I don't... I don't get it. Anyway, this was just me explaining to the people who for some reason didn't get it why the dialogue in Hi-Fi Rush works and why it doesn't work in Forspoken. So yeah, short little video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, goodbye. See you next video.